there's a commercial out there that shows a guy bungee jumping off of a platform a hundred feet into a little barrel full of apples. And when he comes up, he's got an apple in his teeth. I see a lot of bungee jumping in our future. Yep, because when the crazy commercial in question aired, it took the harmless age-old act of apple bobbing and added a frightening 100-foot fall. But can you really get the drop on a bungee apple bob and pull it off injury-free? All right, Jamie, whenever you're ready. Don't know, the wind is gusting. Uh, you got a strong east wind right now at the flag. Uh, what do you think? Are we being, are... I think we can get this done. OK. I'm going to have you lean out, and we're going to go for it. OK. OK, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. That was an epic attempt. And when you play it in real time, Jamie had hardly a second to operate the jaws. Well, he got something. Jamie's got a taste for that ring, and he's never letting go. How are you feeling, Captain? <laughs> <laughs> in theory, this thing could grab an apple, but how many times am I going to have to do it to get it right? And I'm, I mean, I'm up there in a. It's, it's, it's just all too weird. You know what it is? I mean, look at me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and, and I'm, as if, I'm as if it's not there. bad enough, you've I'm got this stuck like, to your head. Oh, what's happening? You let me out of here. That's it. We're calling it. Bobbing Rebels is busted. Bobbing the what would it take rig on your head. Maybe, maybe not. Who cares? I'm going home. We're done.